<laughs> My friends, oh man, I'm excited about this year. I'm getting things started in St. George, Utah. I'm gonna be here for three weeks, actually doing a real deal residency, not going surface level, trying to go deep to show you guys as many good rides here as I can. This will hopefully, we'll see how it goes, hopefully be the theme of 2021, where I go out and go ride different places. And I've actually got a friend with me here today. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, saddle up, partner. The first order of business is to get this GoPro mount to Alex's new helmet here. This yeah. is the single track sampler, by the way. <laughs> you do you still make videos? I don't know. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> But I am a little out of practice. It's been a while since I threw the old GoPro on the... Man, you think I got enough zip ties? Yeah. <laughs> Every van needs a barrel of zip ties. You're right. And I do have zip ties in mine, but they're all too big. Yeah. You got to have the right size for the gerb. You got it. You got this. Okay. We just had about a 20 minute drive and Alex has got this figured out, but how many... Prototype. How many dead soldiers <laughs> do you have <laughs> along the way? He was trying this to pull the eighth, it. <laughs> eighth edition. <laughs> I think I got it. Trying to pull it so tight just so it wouldn't wiggle around in there. So it's pretty tight though. It's decent. We'll it's see. not up to my standard. Yeah, but. we'll see. We'll see. Sarah got me this really cool gear organizer for Christmas from uh, Cat5 Gear. Came from Canada, so it took a lot longer than she thought it would. But yeah, it can carry a couple bottles. And then you've got all your stuff. Well, pretty much all your stuff. Helmet, goggles, you can put glasses in there. I got my camera gear. This is all my camera gear now. It's in a just such a tight little thing now that I'm not using a gimbal. That goes in there. Gloves, my little baby knee pads, and then my shoes. Just all the small essentials that are easy to forget. And then I could put some other stuff in here. And then you can even fill out a little checklist. Now that I'm not in the van all the time, having a little self-contained thing where I know helmet, shoes, knee pads are all together is really good. Oh yeah, snacks too. Good call on coming out here to good old St. George, man. Yeah, the weather, I'm, I was looking at the weather before we came and it's like high of 55 almost every day and sunny every day. We'll see, you know, that's only the 10 day forecast, but once you start riding and even if it's like 45 degrees out, you don't really need much. I like, am not wearing a jacket. Yeah, I think I'll probably keep the red layer on. Dude, you're gonna take it off within five <laughs> minutes, I guarantee you, guarantee. Sweet. Cause I'm taking this thing off cause I know for a fact we're getting hot immediately. Okay, okay, you might've sold me. Taking the tire pressure up to 30 PSI cause we are in the heavy duty rock area in the desert. It is always deadly. Wait, how high? 30. Oh, okay. I thought you said 35. I was like, you're gonna be pinging off this what, thing. Whatever. I'll go what? 35. I don't care. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I wonder if Randall's watching. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shout out to Randall. If, if, you, if you've been here for a while. <laughs> That's an OG When me here. and Alex and Seth all rode together for the first time, we were on Slick Rock, and our buddy Randall, who invited us out, we stayed at his house. He was running like 40, 50, 50, 50 in his tube. Religiously. He always runs 50 PSI in his tube tires. And we were like, dude, come on, you gotta drop it down a little bit. It's 50? He dropped it down, taking our advice. Immediately got a pinch flat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Randall. It was set though, it was totally set. <laughs> I was a part of it too, I was a part of it for sure. And it's like, yeah, he's been riding in Moab for years. Like why change anything? I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, you're slipping out. You need more traction. We thought we knew better. <laughs> the immediate repercussions. You were right. There's no way jacket is going to go on it. The sun is beating down. We're going to get a nice sunburn today. Hey, a little tan in the Yeah. Winter. I need it. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> this is my jersey, by the way. BKXE.store. This is the Zen Trail. I did this years ago on a chasing epic trip. And I think we actually cut it short because it was so windy. It was heinous. And so we just popped out on a fire road and came back to the car. So I think this will be the first time I do the full thing. I'm freezing cold, man. I'm dying right now. California boy. California guy, you can't possibly be colder. It's perfect. It's like actually really nice. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this one. Nice. Those itty bitty wheels. Those little bitty wheels, they can get across stuff. Yeah, I know, I get nervous. 27.5's not dead yet. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got something weird right here. Okay. Like a little snot. Let's get weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you get through this? <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. No problem. <laughs> I would say that St. George is the middle sibling between Las Vegas and Moab. Yeah. Because in the winter, I'd, I think Vegas is actually probably nicer than St. George. But Moab is way too cold right now. And then in the summer, Vegas is probably hotter than St. George, and Moab's a little less hotter. Right. Uh, They're all kind of cut from the same cloth. I'm sweating. Who would have thought? It's too hot. It's a little hot, man. I want to go back home. Ooh, these goggles are garbage right now. Too much sun. Not meant for direct sunlight. Hee <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> huh. oh. I just noticed that Alex is wearing these ride concept shoes and funny my uh, one of my childhood friends Dan shout out to Dan has you know a little thing with his feet where one foot is different size than the other so it's you know it's kind of been a thing his whole life and he emailed a bunch of different shoe companies, mountain bike shoe companies, asking like, hey, can I buy like two different sizes? And all of them turned him down, except for Ride Concepts. They emailed him right back, said, no problem, man. So shout out to Ride Concepts yeah. for, uh, you know, a little help. Yeah, people yeah, people are in need, you know, to have to spend twice as much on a pair of mountain bike shoes just to get fit right. It's nice. Doing the right thing as a company, it always pays off, but man people just take advantage that's the other thing you see why after a while there's all these policies and there's all these rules yeah but you literally just convinced me to buy again from yeah it's true little stories like that they must be good people are you going for it I'm going for it oh my goodness yeah see now we've got some elevation yeah up up and away Ooh. Ooh. It could not be nicer right now. You're looking epic right now, my friend. Ooh. Yeah. Run bikes in January. Oh. 2021 rocks. Yes. Everything changed. Overnight. <laughs> Ride fast, take that. Uh -oh. <laughs> we are back in the saddle again. Whoop. Oh, holding on. Whoa. The man is fast. Oh, yes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Sweetness. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Hey, this is that climb. Yeah. <sighs> that was bad, my it do. It do. <sighs> eh, not too bad. <laughs> Hey, that first one, it is a little tough. I'm sorry, you didn't get it. <laughs> Easy is a relative term. I would say trivial. Oh no! <laughs> you! Why'd you do that? You little guy! 50 million years oh. in the same place.
That little rock just told me go home, son. <laughs> Like there is totally you you literally did it perfectly smooth. <laughs> no. oh, the fight was in it. Damn. Well, right. just gonna have to come back another yeah, day. Back. I still had like the entire. Time. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. 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 Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Sick. Woo. Definitely hot and heavy. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Two can play that game! <laughs> the flickage is beautiful! Nice! Man, the moves he makes are so quick! I don't see how it's like another level. I guess I could attempt to do it. Whew. Oh yeah. The bike is quicker than the eye. Yeah. Woo <laughs> oh, the notch. That's like the hard part. I remember is getting that down is the, that. That is the part of that bike. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Let her slide. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and then it does go straight if you got the power. Ooh. Yeah, dude, it's tough. Oh. Yabba dabba do. Oh. oh, yeah, we're going high. <laughs> dude, I don't... Line here. Oh, yeah, you got a good line into here, dude. No! Yep. <laughs> little uncommittal, but that was good. You see it, you can send it. Oh, this is fun. Oh. <laughs> if you see it, you can send it. <laughs> the brakes are working. I'm so happy you didn't run into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, buddy. Nice. Damn. He's back, baby. That's all good. That was cool. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. I pushed into that instead of lifting up. Yeah. Nice, dude. Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. It was just a last minute lip. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Woo yeah! yeah <laughs> Woo yeah!
The winter sessions have started off with a bang. That was really, really good. Oh, oh, almost left them hanging. I didn't, I didn't see it there. To. Don't, we don't have to, we're good. <laughs> we're good. This was really fun. Way more fun than I expected. Way more fun than I remember. Just a good blaster. A few miles down the road from the Zen Trail is Snake Hollow Bike Park. It's a community bike park with all kinds of jumps and dirt jumps and all kinds of cool stuff. We just did a little scouting mission, but we think we will be back and uh, checking this place out. And he's got a couple ideas for some videos, so we'll see what happens. A lot of options here, a lot of options. And of course, we're very, very hungry now, so we stopped off at the Royal Thai Cuisine. I got the pad see you on, see you on the trail. And then, uh, <laughs> what'd you get? Drunken noodle, baby. Drunken noodles, looks good. I haven't even had a beer yet. Yeah. I got the chicken in the pad see you, and uh, I love this stuff. Just a big old hunking pile of food. I'm nervous because, so when you go to a new Thai restaurant, you know, and they ask you how spicy you want it, <laughs> Everyone's scale is a little bit different. So when I say medium, sometimes it's like perfect because I want it spicy. Because like when you go mild, it's almost always not as spicy enough. But when you say medium, which I did, sometimes it's like, Whoa, yeah, that, that's pretty damn spicy. Let's get the first We're about bite. To find out. It's pretty spicy. <laughs> We're sitting here eating, and we just saw these dudes driving off from over here with what looked like two boxes of shoes on the roof of their car and brian did not miss a beat like look at his food he just dropped it on the ground and he ran out and he is so committed i don't i don't even see him oh i see him over there oh he got him he got him all the way over there look at that what a man what a guy look at that's the car right there he ran so far <laughs> got him Hey man, <laughs> I don't want anyone to ever. I don't want to hear anyone ever say you you ain't a good guy. You just you just like ran a mile for those guys. You were sprinting, and it's like the moment kind of passed, and I was like, oh god, if those were my shoes that you just bought and on top of your car. And then she got it. She really didn't understand what I was saying, so I was like, shoe box on top of the car. And then I kind of walk, started walking away, but she was like, what? Huh? I know you were, you tried. <laughs> you were you were really hoping they'd stop when you were just honking. Definitely. And then they kept going. You're like, ah, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> good man. You, you you did your good deed of the day. Exactly. Hopefully they pass it forward. <laughs> We are back to the homestead. That was a full meal. I ate the whole thing. Sampler polished his off as well. Did not think I was gonna. Yeah, the spice, but, huh? How was the spice? It was actually like almost perfect. It was like <laughs> slightly, but you know, and I definitely sweat a little bit, but that place was good. I like That it. was really good. Not too shabby. He survived it. And this is gonna kick off the winter sessions. We're gonna, we got a lot more to come. A lot of good riding, a lot of good adventures and finding stuff just like this. Hopefully a lot more good weather. Do me a favor, go ride something new and maybe I'll see you on the trail.